What a finish. What a game. Carlton with a goal after the siren to win by four points. Welcome to Saturday's stretch alongside six-time All-Australian Brad Johnson and four-time Premiership player Jordan Lewis. Gents, what a kick from you. Oh, how good was that? Unbelievable from Jack News. He had to move some cameras out of the way, some cables, got rid of the chair. I reckon the camera was a free supporter. There was, no, there, there was no chance he wanted to move to the point where the umpire came over and had to signal him on. But all is forgotten. They had some chances in that last quarter, didn't they? And they were yep. quite wasteful. But that is all forgotten because of Jack News, the ability to tick a goal. And as he mentioned in his post-match interview, they were on the other end of the Robbie Gray one. So... It's nice to get one back and stay in touch with the final eight. What a kick, though. Not only was it a brilliant kick, but the pressure in that moment, Jono. Oh, well, I've lived it and missed twice, Kat, so I know exactly I didn't what it's like. No, that's OK. It's reality of what, <laughs> what I went through. But um, that, that was just super. And, look, he, he had a bit going on around him, and he just he just hit it pure. And as soon as it came off his boot, we like, it's through. And it was just a, just an elite kick. And congratulations to, uh, to Jack for, for nailing a... Big goal for the Blues. Keeps their season alive. That's that's enormous. It's, it's, it's a moment that we potentially could look back on if they play finals this year. And that, that moment right there could be the reason why they play finals this year. What, one kick. Yep. Because of what we're seeing now as well with these scenes, the whole team jumping on each other, <laughs> the belief this is going to give this Carlton group. Oh, I'm not, I'm not as clearly not a Carlton supporter. I'm a football lover. And you get goosebumps when you watch yep. that type of stuff because of how much it means to, you know, to sides like Carlton who, you know, haven't featured heavily in September and they go across to the West, play Fremantle, and uh, they were dominating the first half, arrested that momentum back in the second half and had opportunities. But to win the game like that, clearly the energy and the celebrations were worthy of what a finish that was. So Carlton's run home is Gold Coast, Collingwood, GWS, Sydney, Adelaide and Brisbane. OK. Yeah, it's solid. It's still, it's still solid in terms of what they need to do. But if you're going to play finals, you've got to compete and beat the best. And the Blues show that they've still got a lot of work to do as a team. Um, I, think we, I think we understand that and we, we know that as the collective. But... I, at the moment, it's just all about what, what we've just witnessed and they're, they're able to grind a really strong win. So the growth on the back of it, Geordie, you're exactly right. Is It could be huge for the club. So therefore, playing these better teams over the last few years, then they'll be more confident doing it. They love close games, don't they? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they keep doing it to their supporters, but... Um, <laughs> Imagine the fans around the country oh. right now just oh, in their lounge rooms oh. wherever they are watching. Imagine That's... feeling Jack Nunes right now. You just feel like you're 10 foot tall you and, and unbreakable. It's You'll so be good. that on repeat. The yep. trouble for Carlton is they'll have four games in 14 days. So they don't want any more injuries. No, that's 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 a really good point. Mm. Like they they just can't afford to uh, to have anything like that. But look, they're they're showing that they're starting to get a really good sort of you know crop that can come in and fill a bit of a role. Um, even even tonight, I know a lot of the youngsters didn't get a lot of the ball, but they had some really strong moments where you go, you know what? There's a little bit there in terms of what they might be able to produce to fill that void until senior type players are are available. And it was a different game. I mean, it was wet. It was hard to come by possessions in the first half. And it, was, it wasn't it was a clean match that, you know, some players like, let's be honest. So they had to work their way through it. They didn't play their best football in the first half, but they maintained, um, you know, a two-goal buffer or a three-goal buffer. So they still, they didn't get blown out of the water in the first half where Fremantle dominated. So that's, it keeps you in the game. And then things start to roll on in the second half. But it's amazing scenes because you're over in the West, you're in a hub with, not only coaches, but staff, physios, um, media staff. So there's a lot of people other than the players getting, that get enjoyment out of that type of win on the road. Mm. They're proving to be a force in final quarters at times, Carlton. They were just attacking and attacking those final few minutes. Who was it? Harry Mackay had a shot. He missed. Yep. Liam Jones, oh, Jones then took the mark. He missed. <laughs> but in the end, it didn't matter. Well, it went their way, didn't it? They got the deliberate out of bounds. Then they get the downfield free kick, um, and then Nudes gets that, that opportunity. So, so they can review that last five to six minutes and, um, and see where they went wrong. Clearly they won the game, so they'll be happy, but there will still be improvements um, within that last sort of six to seven minutes, because we sat here going, every possession counts, yep. uh, and every possession is important, but... Well, I thought Michael Walters had done enough. When he cleared it, and Tabernard got hands on it, I thought they'd done enough there, Fremantle, to, 
uh, to claim victory. So well done to the Blues. And that's the other thing we can dissect, that last yeah. couple of minutes. <laughs>